Today we're all facing such high levels of uncertainty amidst all the chaos and craziness and it would be very kind to say challenges we all face. So how do you pivot and take command of your life and continue to move forward, progressing, keeping things going and managing your life in the way you'd like? Hi, my name is Ken Kasha. And you may know me as the lead instructor and training director for The Silver Method. I've been doing this work for 49 years and I have some ideas. I have some strategies I'd like to share with you. Because today, I know you've heard this before, it's unprecedented. I started when I was 19, today I'm 68 this year. And I never in my wildest nightmares ever thought I would live through this. I've lived through much. Truly disrupting all of our lives and for many of you far more than I could possibly imagine. I know my life has been turned upside down but I'm, but I'm blessed and fortunate in many ways at this phase of my life to have the tools that I have. So just as an example, if you know me as the lead instructor, training director for the Silver Method, I travel globally offering the Silver Method Life and Intuition System, the core foundation program for the Silver Method that replaces what we called the basic lecture series way back that Mr. Jose Silva created. So basically, guys, it's about transformation. It's about connecting. It's about integrating what you know. And live, in person, is where it's at. So for me, this has been totally disruptive because it's been months and it may be even more months before we can even go back to any kind of semblance of live and in person. So I had so many requests from people wanting the tools to help them sleep better, to help them deal with the stress, to help them manage the fears and the pain, to reframe things, to improve, to Im learn fast, easy, and especially to integrate their intuition in more meaningful ways. So it's not a unique idea, but I thought about, I was very apprehensive, very skeptical, doing it online. Not pre-recorded, but online live via now, thanks to Zoom. I've done Zoom before, I've done Hangouts before, I've done lots of videos, but to do the actual training that requires for the highest impact in person, interaction with people, the group energy, and all the things that go with that, it really left me feeling very uncertain and very skeptical. And yet the request came in. So how about you? Can you relate to this? When you do something new for the first time and you don't know what to expect, it causes us to feel understandably what? Stressed, tense, because it's new territory. We haven't done it before. We can't look back and say, hey, I've done it before and I did great. I can do it again. I've never done the class live on Zoom. There's lots that could be concerned about. Well, would people have Zoom fatigue to do four full days in a row like we do typically live from nine in the morning till seven? That just seemed a bit too much in front of the screen for everybody, myself included. Then what about the breakout rooms? What about we have an interaction with breakout where we practice caseworking and it's one-on-one -on -one and we do all these intuition games where people are one-on-one. -on -one. We practice with psychometry. We're actually holding an object that your neighbor gave you and doing an intuitive reading. So many things that remained unanswered. So I'm admitting I went through a lot of uncertainty. I went through a lot of angst, a lot of worry would it be okay? What about this? Then there's people's connectivity. I can't control their internet connectivity, how stable it is. I can, with myself, sure. You get the idea? Can you relate? Have you been through that? So one of the things, it's a duh moment, is when you're facing uncertainty, uncharted waters, something you haven't done before, to be alive and to be human is you're gonna feel stress. And the surest way to begin to conquer that stress and turn it into an energy that propels you and gives you the strength to do a great job and to be focused is prepare, practice, study, ask for help. I know, it's obvious and it's common sense. 
just because it's common sense, as you've heard some people say, doesn't mean it's going to be commonly practiced. You know that, I know that. So this is what I did. I sat down and I began to restructure the class and I came up with a plan that I would do two hours, take a one hour break and two hours again and do that four days in a row. And then I would do it for part two, intuition system. So first was life system. The next week, so they'd have Friday, they'd have, excuse me, the weekend off, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I go Tuesday through Friday. Two hours, one hour break, two hours again. And I began then to organize the content. And I found that slowly but surely, I mean, duh, right? As I began to structure it and look at it, I said, hmm, this could work. And that lifted my confidence. So my friends, if you're reinventing yourself or if you're turning your business into, in, into a new aspect or you're doing something different, hang out with people who know. I contacted one of my nieces who is a teacher and she'd been doing lots of Zoom in class. So we sat for a few hours, my wife Barbara and I and Abby and the three of us, we practiced everything from breakout rooms to screen share to using the special sounds we use for the guided meditations. And there were subtle nuances, subtle things that just didn't sound right. It wasn't good. So I was able to practice and test and evaluate. And then we took a vote. And all that calmed me down. You get the idea? And that's the point, guys, is that when you're facing uncertainty, practice, study, ask for help. And I turned to somebody who had more experience than me. And that made a world of difference. That gave me more confidence. And then, so, two more steps. First, be clear about your intention. My intention is to deliver the finest quality. I don't do huge large groups because it's about transformation. It's about them having me guiding them every step of the way and me looking at how they're doing and evaluating and offering suggestions. So when people are in the class with me live, I have a group of up to 24 people and I'm there looking at each and every person, talking, answering their questions immediately. You can't do that with pre-recorded programs. I mean, they may be great, but it's not the same because when questions come up, if they are not answered immediately, it's highly likely it becomes what? Disconcerting, we lose confidence, we give up because we get confused. And I've heard that all too often with people who have home study programs or self-study, who do you ask the questions? And if you have to wait a week or two or more, or wait for an email to be answered, it's not quite the same. So I took all that into account and structured. So each day I gave them homework to read something. Each day they, in the morning they had an overview, prepar preparing, previewing. And I found that in preparing and thinking of that at, again, it boosted my confidence. So you got to be clear about your intention. So I was clear about the intention that I didn't want to regurgitate information. I didn't want to just give them the content. I wanted to make sure that they connected with it in as meaningful a way. I know I couldn't promise them the highest impact like we get in live in person, but I, with that intention of getting as close as possible, I began to have ideas. And the same is true for you. Be clear about your intention. What is it you want to accomplish? That big picture. What is it you want to work? So I want them to connect with it and respond in a meaningful way to the guided meditations and be able to interact and have a really rich experience with the games we play with intuition. And that was clear. So prepare, do your homework, do your due diligence, in addition to being clear about your intention, and then mentally rehearse it. Visualize it. Practice it mentally. Close your eyes if you're into meditation or a few slow deep breaths and just imagine yourself there as if you're there doing the class and imagine the possibilities. What it is you want, your intention, how you want people to respond, the impact you want to have the value you want them to take home with you. And when you start doing that, you'll invariably have other ideas, innovative ideas, that will help you to support them. So I found that in doing that, I came up with a whole battery of ideas of how to support them and prepare them before the training, during the training, and now after the training. And we just completed it about a week ago from when I'm recording this video, and people loved it. And I have to say, I'm not as skeptical. It was great. Still a far cry from live and in person. But I have to say, people got great value. I've been getting comments on them and feedback. They had breakthroughs. They were able to 
do the intuition games. They had great success. And I'm thrilled and they're thrilled. So to wrap this up, be clear about your intention. When you're in the midst of chaos, when things that your whole life is being disrupted, be clear about what it is you want to accomplish. That will make it easier to come up with ideas, strategies. That will make it easier for maybe to release some things that you can't do, at least for now, and develop some new innovative approaches to continue what it is you want to do. Seek help. Practice, practice, do your due diligence, rehearse it. I spent many, many, many hours just practicing on the Zoom and just getting a sense of how it would interact, how much time it would take to put them into a breakout room, how much time it would take to do a screen share and to go back and forth so that I could prepare properly and make sure I covered everything fully. And then mentally rehearse, mentally practice. Allow your best self to emerge. Imagine your best activity, the best possible response. Get the idea? So I really, really sincerely hope this helps and that you find it of value. And remember, do good. You're far better than you realize. Make your difference. Add your contribution, your value to the world. Have lots of fun while you're doing it. And thrive. Thanks for watching. If you're watching me on YouTube, I'd really appreciate if you share this with others, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on Facebook or any other social media outlet, please share it with others so we can get the word out. Maybe somebody could benefit from this message. Thanks so much. Have a great one.